Hi, I'm Jacques DeVoe from Audio Kinetic. Welcome to this new quick tip video. Today we're going to look at locating objects in WISE. WISE has a lot of different type of objects, so being able to find what you need quickly is actually really good and helps improve your workflow using WISE. So let's walk through the various ways of locating different types of objects together. The first is being able to find objects in the Project Explorer. The first thing we'll look at is event actions. So by having an event loaded, you can simply right click on it enable the find in project explorer and the project explorer will automatically locate and expand and find that object for you automatically the same functionality also applies for the sound bank manager I can double click to load a sound bank in the sound bank editor and then simply right click on an item within the sound bank list and it'll automatically locate itself in the project explorer the same for the soundcaster session here I can load a soundcaster session and right click on any of the objects contained here to locate them in the Project Explorer. A quick way, this is actually more of a tip, uh, to be able to see if objects in the actor mixer hierarchy are referenced by an event, um, the simple thing to do is to select the current selection tab and then there I can find out quickly if objects are contained in any of the events that I have in my project. So from here I could double click on play minigun for example uh, to expose the event and its actions. We also have a search option available in the top right here of the toolbar. Here I can enter uh, anything I want to search for. In my case, I'll type mini. And then we see all of the references that contain the words mini in their name. We have also columns available as well. The type displays the different objects that are used in my project. I also have path information as well. I can click on any of these and have them load. For example, there's a Soundcaster session and I can also click here again and load uh, the mini gun actor mixer. Uh, two other areas of interest in the search window or the search results are these two options down here. So I could select a result. Here's my uh, mini gun actor mixer. I could either open those, uh, show the results in the search window or optionally see those in the schematic view. So now I actually see the structure here, mini gun and how it's represented in the schematic view. By default, initially, the schematic view displays all of your project. So here at the top, you can enter searchable content. So right now I'm searching for mini. It will automatically update itself based on the information that I type here. Once you have a result that you're happy with, you can also right click on the object and select find in Project Explorer. And the Project Explorer will automatically update finding the object for you. The final thing I'll show you now is a little bit more advanced where we're going to actually go and use the query portion of WISE to go and locate and find something specific. So what we'll do is we'll click on the query tab, query in the default work unit. I'm going to create a new and we'll call this peak limiter because what I'm doing here is trying to find out uh, which one of my buses is using a peak limiter. So I've created the, the, uh, the child object. Now I need to do is customize my query. So the object type, first thing I want to look for a control bus which is using a specific effect so I'm double clicking on specific usage so it is using uh, this is my condition here my criteria uh, this bus is using a wise peak limiter and now I can execute the query so the result here we see that the master control bus is the only bus that's using the peak limiter and then I can right click on the result and find it in the project explorer or in this case I want to look at it in the schematic view because here we can see that if I enable the show audio effects, you can actually see that it's using the WISE peak limiter. Okay, so that's a quick look at locating objects in WISE. Thanks and see you next time.